out of all the fashion pieces I have upstairs in my own closet. Today, I am sharing with you my top six that I cannot live without. Hey friends, it's Angela. So good to see you all again today. And if it's your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Let's be honest here. I do a lot of shopping. Maybe not as much as some of y'all out there, but probably more than a lot of you. I see my fair share of what's out there. I buy things to try, not only for myself, but to show you all as well. And out of all those things, I only end up keeping what I really love. But we all know we have those favorites, right? That we end up pulling for more than a lot of the other pieces. So today I'm gonna be sharing those favorites with you. These are the ones in particular that are really gonna be helpful to you for this fall and winter season. So we're gonna get started counting these down in no particular order, starting with number six, my boot cut jeans. Now I know some of you are thinking, what about your skinny jeans? Yes, I love my skinny jeans too. I've talked about them on this channel about a billion times, but I've really gotten into the boot cut lately. And here's what I really love about them. Not only are they comfortable, I have a pair of mid-rise and a pair of high-rise, both are comfortable for me, but my favorite thing about them I'm finding is that unlike skinny jeans, which you know are kind of tight and tapered all the way down, if you are a woman who has some hips like myself, it kind of tends to exaggerate the hips, right? The boot cut jeans, because they tend to flare on the way down, they create a more even silhouette between the hips and the legs. And I'm fine and I kind of like that because it doesn't make me look as hippie. Now, what can you wear them with? I mean, they're jeans, right? You can wear jeans with just about anything, but there are definitely shoes that would look better and shoes that would not look so good with a boot cut jean. So let's go over the ones that are really good choices. First of all, tennis shoes. If you're going for more of that casual look, pull out your tennis shoes. As long as they're not those cute little flat tennis shoes, you want a little bit of a heel because then it picks the jean material up off the floor. So something like the on tennis shoes that I wear all the time, that would be fine because it, there's a little lift there at the bottom. Now I'm 5'4", so you can kind of get an idea of where these jeans are falling on me with these different types of shoes and what the difference would be for you depending on if you're shorter or taller. The other pair of shoes that would look really good with a boot cut jean is a pair of booties. Whether they're peep toe booties, maybe they're look a little bit more Western looking or just a regular booty that you would wear in fall. Those would look really good as long as they've got the heel on them to lift that jean up off the ground. You can wear those all day long and I feel like that's a really cute look. The next pair of shoes that will look really good with the boot cuts are a pair of wedges because they've got a little heel height on them, whether you pick a shorter wedge or a taller wedge. Now the shoes that are not gonna be a go here with the boot cut jeans, in my opinion, personal opinion here, okay? You do you, but I'm thinking like a pair of flat slides or sandals is a no-go because one, you're gonna get all this bunching at the bottom of the jean, right? There's no height to bring it up off the floor. Well, that's not good. Other thing that wouldn't be a good look, I would never wear with a boot cut jean is my Birkenstocks, which I love, right? I love those, but they're not tall enough. And when I wear them, it just looks weird. The jean material just kind of clumps to the back. It's not a good look. The other pair of shoes, in my opinion, that's a complete no with boot cut jeans is a pair of uh, boots that you tuck the jeans into. I love my hiker boots, but not with a pair of boot cut jeans, okay? Because look at all the material. Even if I try to roll the jean around my leg and stuff it down into the booty, it's not working, okay? You got all the bunching coming up over the boot. It, it just, it doesn't look good. I will get my skinny jeans out for all three of those looks. Now, what do we think about a taller boot? Do we think that boot cut jeans could work with that? Let's give it a try. Okay, so as you can see, these will work. I think these will work. So if you've got a boot cut jeans and that's all you have clean that day, 
and you wanna wear your tall boots with a cute little top in your cardigan, I think this you could pull this off because there's enough room within the boot for that jean material to level out and not bunch up at the top of the boot. The lighter color boot cut jeans that I have on are by Just USA. And they are a new one for me, actually. I, I bought them from Stitch Fix. I don't even wanna get into how I'm still getting Stitch Fix boxes. They're still coming and most of it goes back. But those jeans I kept, I'm like, dang, those look pretty good. I'm keeping those. Then the darker bootcut jeans that I have are by Wallflower. I got them on Amazon and I love those, the fit of those as well. They're more of a, a mid-rise. They are a junior brand, so you do have to go up in size to be able to match what size you would normally wear in you know, um, a Mrs. or ladies. I went up three numbers uh, from a six to a nine to get them to be a perfect fit. Enough with the jeans, we're moving on to number five, which is my favorite, favorite sweatshirt jacket. Here's the thing, there's a lot of different sweatshirt jackets out there. They are not all created equal. I found the perfect sweatshirt jacket that I wear all the time in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, and why I love it more than any other sweatshirt jacket I've ever owned is because it really tapers in at the waist. There's a lot of sweatshirt jackets out there that are kind of baggy looking, right? You put them on and it really doesn't give you much waist at all. This sweatshirt jacket really accentuates the waist when you have it zipped up. It's a great fit. There's a lot of detail going on with it. There's zippered pockets. So I love this so much that I have it in three different colors. I have it in this mauve color, I have it in black, and I have it in a maroon color. This jacket is made by MPG Sport. The type is called Valencia. Now I did some research online before I started this video. And nowadays you can only get this jacket still at Stitch Fix but they only have it in a light gray. You can get it at Wannable, which is another subscription box. It's about $55 or $59, but totally 100% worth it. In Florida, in the colder months, this is all I need to put on over my t-shirt or whatever in my jeans. In the fall here in Michigan, I wear this all the time without having to wear a coat. Stick with your normal size if you find and order this jacket for yourself. Coming in at number four are fleece lined jeans. Did you hear me? These things are awesome. I got them a couple of years ago. And if you live anywhere where it gets cooler than you would like in the winter time, these are gonna be your savior to wear with whatever it is you're wearing, but to keep your legs warmer. I bought these from Amazon, okay? And as you can tell, the whole inside is this really soft fleece lining. Even the inside of the pockets are fleece lined. Can you believe that? Look at that. <laughs> so if I were to put these completely inside out, you would see all the fleece going up and down the whole pair of jeans. What I love about these is they have a kind of a corset top, which actually brings you in a little bit. It kind of sucks you in and hides that little tummy a bit when you wear these. It's got the three buttons plus a zipper. Love the wash on these. And like I said, they're so darn warm. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below for you all who might be looking for something like this because you are tired of wearing normal jeans where the wind blows right through them in the winter. These, you're not gonna have that problem. I wanna say these might've been $50, $55, something like that but they're worth every penny in those really cold days. Okay, what is that? Bentley, what are you doing? Bentley's getting into his Halloween costumes again. Bentley, you have to wait till all the ladies vote, honey. If you're all wondering what's going on here, every year I do a Halloween costume vote where you all get to vote on Bentley's next Halloween costume for that year. Well, we've started this process early because in two weeks we're heading down to Florida. So I'm looking to have you guys vote. Whichever costume gets the most votes is the one he's gonna wear down in the villages for Halloween. I put out a community post with four different costume choices 
So if you go to my channel page and you scroll up at the top where it says videos, there's a button that says community. If you hit that button, you'll see the post of his Halloween costume choices. So don't miss that. He's counting on you. All right, moving on. Coming in at number three is this new maxi skirt I got from Amazon. It is perfection, okay? I took this sucker to Italy. And like I said in another video, I got more comments from strangers even and people in our tour group every time I wore that skirt. They loved it. It's the way that it flows. When you walk, it just, it's such a pretty skirt. It makes you feel so feminine and pretty. And I thought I would show you how to style that skirt more for the cooler weather. Now I'm 5'4 and it is pretty close to the ground, okay? So if you're shorter than I am, you're gonna either need to roll that skirt, you know, the elastic top on it, or you might need to get it hemmed. I don't think it came in petite. So with that said, you're gonna see it, make a choice for yourself or wear a taller shoe with it. Now definitely something that would be great for more of a fall look with the skirt is a, some kind of black top. And you wanna pick something that you can actually tuck into the skirt. It looks better because the skirt is fuller on the bottom. So if you tuck it in, you've got a bodysuit on or a more fitted shirt that you can tuck in, it's gonna be a better look overall. Now I wanna try something on top of this that's gonna elevate the look a bit more. And it's actually coming in at number two on our countdown which is my famous jean jacket. If you're new to this channel, which a lot of you are, you don't know that I'm like a jean jacket addict. I have not a ton, but I have probably about six jean jackets. Yeah, upstairs, maybe eight. I don't know, somewhere in there. And my favorite, favorite one is by Jessica Simpson. I got it on Amazon. But nowadays, it's a little bit more expensive. I don't know if they just don't have the supply anymore like they used to, but you're gonna pay more for it than I know I did. So I've got another option, jean jacket option that I'm gonna be showing you. That's a much more affordable option, but still very cute and will give you about the same kind of look as the jacket I'm gonna be wearing and showing you. Now, what I love the most about this jacket is it's got a little bit more of a tapered look to it. It's not an oversized jacket at all. And I love that about it, to wear with dresses and skirts. I feel like that tapered look just looks a little bit better to me than a baggy jacket with my skirt or dresses. First, you're seeing this skirt with the darker top and the jean jacket. I think that would be a really cute look for fall. The whiter top underneath just gives it kind of a lighter look, doesn't it? The next jean jacket I would recommend would be the one from Walmart, actually. It is by the brand Time and True, and their jacket is $20. Whether you buy it in store or online, they have several washes. Now, I just have the pink version because I already had a, a regular wash jean jacket, so I didn't need that. But I bought the pink because I just love that color. They do have pockets on the side and front, but they also have pockets on the inside, right here on both sides. This is a very good quality jean jacket. No matter if you get it in this color, I think they have it in white. They have it in a few different jean washes and they have it in black. The pink one is like seeing a unicorn. If you see it nowadays and you like it, you better get it because it's really one that sells out quickly every year and then you can't find it the rest of the year. Or if you do find it, if it's like the unicorn, you might get a deal on it in the fall. I'm gonna put the link down below for this jacket. You may not get it in pink, but you'll see all the other options available right now when you look online. To me, jean jackets are kind of like a blazer. I use it like a blazer um, because for years, I never even got myself to try a blazer. Now, I'm getting into blazers. I tried my first one from Amazon and now I'm hooked. It's like really, it took me 52 years to actually try a blazer and now I'm finding that I love it. It's good to have different layering piece options that you enjoy but will create a little bit of a different look depending on the occasion that you're going to. So now 
we're going to my number one favorite pick from my closet, which is the tie front cardigan. You're gonna be amazed at how this changes the look, especially when you're wearing a dress. I got it on Amazon. I have it now in three colors. It's just an absolute must in my closet for me. Not only is it a nice little layering piece, if you need something, it's cooling down in the fall where you are and you just need something thin. This works really well for that. But here's a more magical reason why this is awesome. You can tie this and it really automatically brings your waistline in no matter what dress or skirt you're wearing. And I like it because you can tie it in three different locations. You can kind of do a normal waist tie, which helps to kind of camouflage the little tummy going on because it dangles right in front of it. You could also choose to put this up a little higher so that now it almost looks like you have a short cardigan on over your dress. I think that's a cute look as well. And the third option is to kind of put it really low, almost over the top part of your hips and tie it that way. And it creates a nice silhouette when you're wearing a dress. And that is why it is one of my favorites in my closet. So now that you have seen my top six items that I can't live without, watch this video next right here. I talk about the five most comfortable shoes I've ever owned. Until I see you next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.